Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And my name is Miska. And welcome to Hitscan. Seeing as we're now in the holiday periods, the end of the episode is nigh. Uh, we figured that we'd actually sit down, look at all of the skins and bundles that we've had since the start of the game's launch, and rate them in a tier list as you're seeing on screen. Of course, you can let us know your favourites in the comments below, but we have a lot of skins to get through, Miska. Which one should we start with first? Oh, boy. Uh, oh, I know, I know a, a good one to start with first. This one. I've forgotten that it's Smite. That's it. Smite. I mean, have you actually got this one? No, I don't. But it was... It's like one of those good value, but like just about not pol like it's not like fancy slash polished enough for me to feel like I want to use it for my phantom all the time, you know. So. Right. I I would put it between a B and a C. In all honesty, yeah. I think it's like good. I think if you're into like the the four, well, which one is it then? <laughs> I think C for now because we need to see what other ones that we're going to be getting. All right, all right. But I actually have some of them in order, like the list of which they came out. Um, I think it's worth going over some of the act skins, and I think let's get act one. Wait, are we? Hang way. on a second. I think that's pretty important, actually. Are we caring about the sort of price tag at all, or are these just purely visuals? I think you've got to bear it in mind for sure. Like, I, I guess a good one to go with next is Sovereign, because whilst I think it's a really beautiful uh, skin bundle. The guns in it are pretty trash, and I think that was one of the main ones that people highlight because there's no uh, Phantom, there's no Vandal. The best gun that you get in it is the Guardian, which is super unpopular. So yeah. I would say that that would be below Smite, even though I think it's prettier. Wait, what? Yeah, I think so. Oh. The knives are a different story. We might do a tier list on just the knives alone because they can be very different. Sovereign. I, think... I, I kind of I don't really agree with that. I do like the Marshal and the Ghost. I think those are both really solid especially the ghost actually i think so, it'd be then i, I think it does yeah. lose points for not having a main assault rifle in there that's just my point yeah no totally i yeah exactly it's like either this or or we move both of these down one tier each i think like, we're going to be having to do that as we go along okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. slam it in b and right. i'm just going to pick out some of these at random but you choose the next one uh this one which is the Couture, Couture, isn't it? Couture, yeah, that one. I, yeah. I think that's the worst skin in the game. Yeah, I think it might be the worst skin in the game as well. I agree. As, as much as I love Sean and Pretty, I feel like they're going to have a heart attack watching this. But I think all of the skins are great, but there has to still be a worse to the best yeah, skin, right? Yeah. No, I think like, this is one. I think most people would agree, though, because, it, you know, first Battle Pass have to get all of the systems in place. And the battle pass has got better since, so. But it know. wasn't designed to be like uh, you know, a great skin either. It was no. designed to be like a casual, sort of decent color. I think the there's a Marshall, right? I remember using that one for a while. Pretty sure there's a Cotor Marshall. Yeah, I think I have the frenzy still. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, moving on. Uh you go next. Ooh, um, I want to go with a potential top tier pick. Oh. A glitch pop. Oh, yeah, this is potentially S tier. Uh, I, I think, think it's S tier. The only thing that lets it down a little bit is Ooh. the same with Sovereign, where you don't have a main assault rifle, but the Bulldog is better than a Marsh, uh, the Guardian, right? And yeah. the video for it, the, the animated effect that you get. All right. I mean, should we put it like here for now and then just choose later? Yeah, I think so. I do feel a bit of a hypocrite because, you know, like Sovereign, for example, has a really good uh, kill animation when you get that final blow. Yeah. Um, so I feel like if I rate Glitch Pop highly in Sovereign lowly, that's just super hypocritical. I mean, to me, me Sovereign B, Glitch Pop A sounds pretty good. So I'm down for this. I'm down to like put it into A fully or just, yeah, we can get back to it. Yeah, for sure. Um. Okay. Well, uh, I would like to go with these, the Ego skins, the Ego Vandal in this case. Uh, I think it looks cool. I think it's got a nice branding, but it's got no animations. It's got no fancy stuff. And frankly, the variations I thought looked better in the promo material than in game, which wow. was a bit disappointing to me. Yeah, I think the default one is probably the best one, actually. I think it fulfills a role, right? Because it is like the sort of streetwear trainer. Yeah, the streetwear trainers kind of thing. It's but... like a, it's like a B tier, I think, to me. Yeah, I, I think it's the center skin. It's not, it's really good and it's not bad. So I think it is I, the definition that's... of a B tier skin. Yeah, and that's kind of the problem, I guess, with it because for much, much cheaper, you can get the C tier uh, smite. So. Yeah. 
it's a, it's a tricky one. All right. Anyway, we, let's. Oh, I'm gonna have to shuffle these together a bit more. I feel like. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it's, we, right. we have to absolutely blow for it. Uh, I think. Let's go for the most contentious skin in the game, Wasteland. Ooh. I think that's an A tier skin. I think some people would say it's a D tier one. That's the interesting thing about it. I love the fact that some people really like it, some people really hate it, but. I think yeah. it's really good, like thematically, and it's very cheap considering. I think it's a great skin. I'm gonna have to see what other things go into A tier because it's like a little bit borderline A B tier for me now. Like it was really cool at first to see the theme, and then now over time, I just haven't been as drawn to it, I guess. So yeah, we can slot it into A for now. That's fine. I think bottom of A tier, top of B tier is what I would put it as. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa, now we're getting into the full range. Huh? Yeah, this reminds all me right. when Asmogul rated all of the leveling zones in World of Warcraft. It's that kind of... I think that's where I got this idea from, but that was a while ago, and that was like a three-hour tier well, list. So Tier lists like, aren't exactly the most original content. No, YouTube. no. But all I right. want to do this at the end of every episode, right? Because look at all of the skins that we have, and episode two all should right. have some bangers too. Oh yeah, they had they're adding so many. Oh, there's so many. Okay, yeah, let's just keep going. Avalanche, what do you think? I'm gonna go with like a. Ooh, I like it more than the smite actually, but they're still kind of like eh. So maybe it's like yeah. a C. Yeah, I mean bottom of C, top of D. Yeah, yeah. I would call it a C tier. I think yeah. for like what it's um. You know, because it's Avalanche, it's meant to be kind of icy. I just think thematically it doesn't really fulfill that fantasy, I guess. An ice gun would be pretty cool in the future, though, I guess. Like a real solid one. But um, in regards to other stuff, let's go for an older skin. One of the first that we got, the Galeria set. All right. What? Uh, Some people really is, like this set. Oh, there it uh, it's the one with the flowers, the lotus flowers. Well, this is the Galeria. Is it? Is that, am I mixing it up with... I mix it up with the the what one is it called? I got this all is of Sakura. It. Sakura, that's it. Yeah, Galeria. Then, like, I like Galeria. I I think that's a a C tier one. I like I, the ADS actually on that one. Yeah, yeah. It's like a it's like a high C, not quite B, but is it better than Smite though? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Just based on, the, I like the red ADS. I think it looks really good. Uh, yeah, I'd it agree. Is red, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I'd agree. Oh. I, I think it's better than Smite. We can yeah. like adjust the tears when we get Ooh, to that point. Here's but... an interesting one. What do you reckon about Serenity? I think it's bottom of B tier. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's like a D tier gun. I really don't like it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I really don't like it. I I thought it looked kind of cool. I think just because it's a battle pass skin, I'm a bit like it's mm. good for the fact that you can get it through there. And like you, it's either you get that skin or you get the Kotor one, which you're gonna prefer. I think it's hands so down. My yeah, my problem is that I think it looks pretty good in the menus and even on the here it looks pretty good. But when I have it in game, I just don't. I think it's just a bit too flat. Um, yeah, a bit too dull, I guess. So, um, yeah. Uh, what do you reckon? Is uh, C tier then? I think C, yeah. Right. Uh, I, I feel that just naturally a lot of those skins are going to be in the C tier because some of the other skins are so out there. Yeah. We might as well grab another out there gun. How about the latest gun to be added into the game, Blast X? Uh, oh, yeah, Blast X. Yeah, shit. I mean, I think it's a really solid. I just think it's really just great concept good execution nice variants i think it's s tier you think it's s tier yeah i think ah. it, i i think oh actually i don't think it's better than glitch pop but i definitely think it's better than wastelander Ooh. all right i guess we're throwing it into this like yeah i i think it's there for down. now yeah okay uh yeah i don't know that's a tricky one i guess I'm trying to think about, you know, all the sounds, animations, effects, everything. Not just, like, the skin, so... Hmm. What's the worst skin left? Oh, God. Uh... Put, putting you on the spot. Ooh. Probably this, uh, to me, the Ronin Bulldog. Really? Yeah. I, I just mean, think it looks a bit tacky. Yeah, I'd say so. Like, the only thing I was going to say was the knife is pretty nice. I really like the knife, but if we're... Doing this as a separate video again over the holidays, then we've got to treat that separately. So I I think it's top of D tier, bottom of C. 
the I, I think the Ronin knife is also kind. Of, it's a bit better, but I think it's like borderline tacky. Uh, I think it's sorry, just the Dynasty Warriors fan of me just loving it because it's very much like Guan Yu's. I mean, I think it's a C tier. Okay, I I'd be happy with that. I don't think it's. If I think about it as like okay, you know, I compare this to like the Guardian Ghost, like yeah, no, it doesn't get very near, honestly. A uh, Guardian, sorry, Sovereign Ghost is what I'm trying to say. I looked at the Sovereign skin, it's a Guardian. So. Are there really no skins as bad as Koto? I think Dot EXA This one is borderline. Is oh yeah, oh, that, I was going to say Convex. Yeah, 100% put Convex down there. I completely forgot about that one. <laughs> okay. Oh no. I kind of like the Convex Sheriff, actually. I used that for a while. Those, that's pretty right. But the other ones are kind of boring, yeah. Yeah, I, I Dot EXA is an interesting one because I like the idea, but I just don't... Again, it, it, it just feels like it, it feels like, like the first old. battle pass. You know what I mean? It's hard to yeah. explain. Yeah, no, I, I, I do, I do feel like like it doesn't really have fancy effects and sounds and stuff that make would make it come alive a bit more as like the Tron gun. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think that's a C tier gun as well. I'm just trying to think about what. Oh God, the more I think about it, the more I want to bring down Eco to C tier, honestly. We can always sort out and micromanage the others, but we need to get some of these in place. All right, so this is this C tier then as well? I think so. I think C tier is going to be very... I think C tier is... Let me see how horrible, but I think there's just a lot of skins that are kind of like, they're okay, but if you put like all of these in B tier, for example, or spread them out, I think it diminishes how great some of those top skins are, yeah, if that I makes agreed. sense. That's, kind of that's the thing I think down. about Ego, though. Like, Ego, I still think, if I think about Sovereign Ghost versus like Ego anything... I don't know, the Sovereign is just too much better uh, to me. To I'd agree point. with that. I think overall for all the right. skin sets, yeah. I think you it's want, just when you, you, you do look this at these. Then? Yeah, I'd say so. All right, all right. Let's or do like that. make you go at the bottom of B tier because it's still a really good one. Um, oh, what kind of was it? <laughs> okay, we can adjust that like the bottom top of the, the tiers later. All right, uh, let's keep going. Um, let's get some high tier. Oni. Oni. I think Oni's S tier. I think it is S tier. I've just seen it. It's been around for so long. But when it was first revealed, it was very cool. And it's just been around for a long time. But it's it's good. Yeah, it's really solid. Good animations, good sounds, not too distracting, uh, good variants, great just theme and concept. And I mean, the, the kill animations, great. Really. I think what's even more impressive about the Oni is it followed the hype of the Elder Flame set. Oh, yeah. And I feel like it... it, it, it doubled that right there was so much hype around that and then only just comes in like because so many people were up in arms about having the the you know there's no well, phantom skin for it and then we get only and it's like i think it's bottom of a top of b i love the elder, well, elder flame, flame when it came out yeah but i just feel like over time it's quite an exhausting skin to have on to be brutally honest it's just so intense all the time that I think, yeah, I like the sound the most about it. The the Vandal, like, getting, like, a headshot with the Vandal, with the, uh, yeah, with the Elder Flame Vandal feels really good. So, I would say it's, like, yeah. here. It's, but I'm looking forward to having more skins that are live, I suppose. And I think that when it comes to what the skins team have managed to do, it's certainly S tier. But I think, you know, you look at the different guns and the styles and stuff, I, I think that, I don't know, I think it's A tier just because of how iconic it is. Yeah, oh god, the animations are really good. I, I think okay. it should go yeah. up with Blastix, yeah, yeah. you know. I yeah, think it's yeah. a similar thing where... Wait, yeah, above Blastix? No, just like it's on the same oh. level, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I would say so. I would say it kind of evens out to be around the same, yeah. We need okay. to fill out the B tier. Nebula? I think Nebula is B tier. I think Nebula is great. Yeah, I agree, I agree. I think it's really... It's it's good. It's not too distracting. It, it looks... Cool, nice concepts, nice colors, but yeah, not super, super special. What is the best top tier, uh, the worst top tier skin, even? I think it's between two that I can see here. I think it's between Spleen or Spline and Spleen, <laughs> spleen uh, or GUN. Uh, I think, I think oh. the gun bundle is better. I don't rate Spleen. I, I that think much. so too. I, I think. The top spline gun looks pretty all right, but like, yeah, I still think gun is actually a bit better. I would say like, if I had to just do it quick and dirty, you know, bam, this is what I would say. 
Really? You think that the gun bundle is better than Nebula? I could see why, actually. I think so, because of, like, I do like the sounds and the, the variants, you know? And then you compare that to just Nebula. I feel like this video is going to have, like, all of the skins team watching, and they're just going to be shouting <laughs> at us throughout. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just I'm gonna, sorry like, for trashing, like, some of these skins, especially, like, the Serenity skin. I'm sorry for shit-talking it. <laughs> Like, we all have different tastes. It's okay. Pretty said it herself in a recent, or well, not really recent video anymore, but one of our latest videos with them. Oh man, we got so much left still. We're just over halfway. All right, yeah, let's start getting through. Ruin, what do you reckon? I think that's an A tier skin. I think that is the best so skin too. out I of think... the Battle Pass. And I think. I agree, yeah. So many people were excited about the Battle Pass when they see skins like this, you know? Yeah. Um, so I I I 100% think it belongs there. It like cool. it's it's the best battle pass skin. It's the best in inverted commas cheap skin that isn't part of a bundle. 100%. I think we're very aligned on that then. Uh maybe uh, this one then. Uh the hive mind. Hive was act 2, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the, it was the top tier. Yeah. Oh, act 2. Yeah, yeah act, act 2. two. Sure. Yep. I think it's C to D tier. Ooh, I was gonna say C to maybe be on a lucky day, but like more C. Yeah, C tier I think is pretty fair then. Yeah, yeah I I, th I think sort of mid tier. I don't think it's better than the Serenity one. Oh, Aristocrat. This is a skin people keep forgetting even exists. Yeah, so like um, maybe I'm just projecting. I think it's top of top of D tier. I feel like there's. Oh, really? I don't think D tier are like complete trash skins. I just feel like there's a lot of skins in there that. And yeah, if it's a skin, if you got it in the night market with like seventy five percent off, would you care? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's such a good way to put it. And I think with the aristocrat, the problem I have with them is that they also look really good and really interesting in the menus, but then first person view, they just don't look nearly as good anymore. Is there any other S tier skins? I think singular, uh, yeah, singularity, singularity. one hundred percent. Yeah, I, I do also think. Um, uh, yeah, Reaver, I would say, honestly, as well. Like, just because the animations... Oh, yeah, yeah, everything. definitely, definitely. And just the upgrade as well. People are so hyped about the old one, and then new one came in yeah. and just blew it out the water. Yeah, yeah, very good. Oh, Ion, shit. I think Ion's an A. Yeah, it's a tricky one. Like, I, I'll... I like the guns. I think they're really... You know, they're clean. I still have a lot of character. Uh, but, yeah, it's honestly what brings Ion down... For me, compared to the ones that are in S tier right now, uh, kill animation. I just feel like look at the S tier kill animation versus the Ion kill animation, right? I guess it, I don't feel like it compares. Um, Elder Flame is a good one. Glitch Pop is a really good one. I'm still thinking Glitch Pop could be S tier, honestly. So sort of looking back, mm. but I also don't think the kill animation for Blast X is that good. It's cute, I suppose, with the whole wrapping up, but I feel like. Thematically, I, I feel like those skins that seem to just have a lot of hype around them, like with the trailer and stuff, mm. just tend to do well. But this makes me appreciate how good the Ruin Vandal is, considering how little it has in regards to it doesn't have a kill animation, it doesn't have that. I'm almost feeling like it's B tier though, like you're looking at this almost. Like again, or maybe I, may, I No, I, I think it's maybe a solid I should just up I, Sovereign. I think, like, I think Sovereign is literally just a gun selection that's bad. It's a really cool skin line, good variations, really amazing kill animation. Yeah, I actually feel like Sovereign should be up tier, and then we can... We can... Uh, okay. Yeah. I think a, 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 a skin that you could trade in its place is Polyfox. I think that's a strong B-tier yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a... What else do we have? Let's go back in time. Let's go to the first bundle that was ever added into the game. The one that you bought Prime. straight away. I think that nothing could beat the initial hype of seeing what a skin bundle in this game can be. Yeah, I remember no, I when agree. we were waiting for the service to come online, it was data mined and people were freaking out on Twitter about it. So yeah. oh, I think yeah. what you think it's S tier? I was just gonna say like no, A tier. I, I, th I, th I think it's because what does it for me is honestly the the way that it's so look at the look at S tier right now and think about vandals that have good sound effects, good variations, nice animations, and a good kill effect, right? And if mm. I look at A tier, you know, I start thinking about like the uh, Elder Flame and Ruin, right? And I'm like, well, I feel like the va this vandal is 
definitely better than the Elder Flame Vandal and the Ruin Vandal to me. So, I think at that point, it, it has to be Esther. Yeah, like, I, to, I, I'd agree with that. But our logic, I, I feel like. Do, ooh, this one. Um, Sensation. I keep forgetting the name because I, I didn't buy any of them. Because, yeah, I think this is a B tier gun. What do you reckon? I'd say C tier, but... Oh, really? Shit. Okay. Damn. I think it's just one of those ones that's like somebody will really like it, but I think it's sort of just built with them in mind. Mm. Um, all right, all right. Uh, okay. I think Let's we we de we definitely have to like dish out a few more in the B tier from C and stuff. But are there any yeah. other skins left out of the what eight that we have that you think are solid B tier ones? What's the one right at the top? The 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 whitish one. Oh, oh it's the Winter Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a B tier. The issue is, is that it's obviously seasonal, very seasonal, and so yeah, you get this in your shop in the middle of June, it's gonna feel awful. It's gonna feel awful. <laughs> it's tra absolute tragedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tears will flow. All right. Uh, yeah, I do like the effect on that a lot, but yes, other than that, I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, I, I the effect of you know. I mean, we all know what it is, the night and day. Beautiful. What about the two stinger ones at the bottom? Are, are any of those D tier? Oh, whoops, I accidentally added two of those. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, like, <laughs> I recognize one of them, but I don't know what the other one is. Yeah, it's just a variation. I knew there was one I had double, but I didn't know which one that was it. All right, uh, yeah. Oh, wow, it does look extremely similar to Rush Hour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, obviously, that's kind of meant to be as well. Right. I think top of D tier, bottom of C. On this one? Yeah. What? Oh, I do not agree with that at all. Where do you think it is? I, I think it's like B tier. I mean, think I, I think like Polyfox should be C tier, at least in that case as well, honestly. Yeah, I think Polyfox should be brought down and this should take its place. Really? I like Polyfox because it's like you know exactly what it is and... The theme around it. I don't even know what this one's called. The one that we're arguing Third, about. But like what I what I the problem I have with polyfox is when you put a gun body on it on some of them, it just goes in front of the fox's face, so you can't see it in first person anyway. Yeah, but you know it's a fox from the color scheme. Like you just you just know it. It it feels like what Polyfox does well is what I All think. Alright, should we Red just settle for where it is right now then? Like I you. think so, I think so. Okay. Like I was gonna mention Red Alert as well, because I think Red Alert kind of suffers from what you mentioned about Polyfox, where I really like the little yep. shark icon on it, but there's what else I don't know. I don't really get to see it. It's just like it's red metal. Yeah. That's alright. But like that's all it is. Yeah, it's I think it's a C tier. Yeah, I think so. There's a lot of C-tier guns. Ooh, Sacra Vandal is an interesting one, though. I, I genuinely feel like it's an A-tier gun. It's, like, really clean. It's got a nice ADS artwork that a lot of people like. I definitely feel like it's better than uh, um, Polyfox and Surge. I think it's top of B-tier. I don't think it's as good as you think it is. But well, top I, of I, B-tier? Come on, you can't be doing this, like, top and bottom of every tier. This tier list should just be going, like... I, I Again, I, I feel like there's these top 10 skins are the top 10 skins. You know what I mean? I don't think that the Secure is one of the top 10 okay, bundle skins. Okay, let's put it, like, here, then, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, Ooh, Kingdom. It's okay. Uh, yeah. No. Like it, mm, I think it's a C tier. Yeah, I've, it's like the best of Act 1, but... I think it was just like... It also, like, you have a law based skin about something that people don't really understand as well, so it's a bit of a... Like, yeah. maybe the stonks of Kingdom go up in the future when we get more info... Like, you know, like Talon in Overwatch, that kind of yeah, thing that people yeah, really like, like the theme, so... I think it's lost on us for now, but I could see it going up in the future if kingdom gets like a cool story beat i guess which it sounds very well what is this final blue one just prism. a deep prism oh yeah of course it is i would say that it's c tier uh, i i do think that it's like what i liked about it nebula does better agreed that's actually i think that's a good way to put it yep the like sort of actually i don't the nebula ah uh. I, I just like Nebula slightly more. I think it looked good and clean and interesting where early on because it was one of the few 
clean but still had like something to it mm -hmm. but yeah all right and rush and then rush i think rush is a b tier skin all right i don't I think agree, it's honestly. that i don't think it's that bad but i don't think it's great i think it's just oh okay. like ego in the sense of like yeah I, i'm quite happy with it you've done it right so you've like because a lot of people when they do like top and bottom of a tier like the furthest left is the top of the tip, but you've done it by height. So like glitch popping, for example, is very close. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just yeah, this is just height. So if yeah, if it's yeah. lower on the bottom of the tier, it's more likely so. Yeah. Oh actually with that in mind. Probably like this. Yeah. Or I something like fair. that, maybe. So yeah. the worst skin in the game is Cotter. Yeah. I don't even know how to pronounce it. And the yeah. best skin in the game is out of those top four, who is it? Ooh. I think we should have top five. I think we should have five okay. in the S tier. I what, mean, I think this deserves it. I think this deserves it. Yes, I, I would agree. So these are the top five skins. All right. See, like, who... Let's bring it to, like, the top two being one Phantom, one Vandal. Like, it's a single bracket tournament. So what's the better Phantom out of Oni and Singularity? I think we it's Oni, hands down. <laughs> You're just throwing that one out of the fight. Oh, yeah, away. yeah. I think that's that's top five, but I don't think it's the best skin in the game. No, I don't think it's top two. As much as I love Glitch Pop. Oh, Singularity or Oni. God, that's such a difficult one. I, I would say the issue is I don't want to be in a position where it's between Singularity versus Reaver because I think they're very similar. Yeah, agreed. I think Oni, and I think Oni wins it because it has better variants. You think like it's the best the, skin in the game? I think it's the best Phantom in the game, hands down. And I, I would run with any variant. You know, I've got all of the variants because they didn't put the change in beforehand. The green one's a bit eh, but yeah. Yeah, I, I just think that the role solid. I think the gun selection is really good too. You know, you get a nice shorty. What could you say about that? Um, the melee yeah. weapon is probably a bit of a letdown, but we're not judging it based off that. Um... All right. Out of out of the vandals, I think it's Reaver and stuff. Oh, it has I think, to be. Uh, it has so, to be like this and like this, basically. Oni or Reaver? Actually, I think I'm more tempted to just do a poll. Okay, honestly. let's do a poll. Or like ask people in the comments, what's the best skin in the game, Oni or Reaver? Yeah. Out of the two. Yeah, I totally agree. And and if you disagree, then put the best skin in the game in the comments and get it as the most upvoted comment, like with the most thumbed up comment in the comment section. Below. Yeah, if, if somebody says that, I don't Someone know. Someone will say like, uh, I don't know. Kingdom. Kingdom is Kingdom, the best skin yeah. in the game. 20,000 thumbs up. <laughs> so I'm happy with the top five. No, I, I think this is accurate. Th this is really how... No, this is, honestly, this top 10 is very accurate to what I think are actually the top 10 skins in the game. I mean, top 11 even, honestly. But yes, top 10 for sure. I'm pretty happy this with this. Good. All right. Um, and we did it in less than half an hour, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Oh, that's, 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 a, that's a good look. <laughs> it still took half an hour, though. If but... people want us to do the knives, let us know. I genuinely have no idea. Like we've done tier lists in the past, I've got over 100k views. We've done some that have done less strong. So I guess we just wanted to do like a chill video when there's no news and rarely show even though some of these skins are better than others, legit, look at them all. Uh, I think it's piled these are some... up fast, like, right? Like, there's so many. We might even have more over the Christmas period, but I think this is all of the episode one skins added into the game. Let us know your favorites and stuff below. If you want us to go over the knives, we will do, but I'm pretty happy with this list. Yeah, we'll see you in episode two <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in nine months. <laughs> Take care, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.